Hello, my name is Mauricio Acevedo and I am director of the Field Project. My intention with this video today is to share with you how I've come to understand this beautiful mystery that we call life and how it unfolds in front of our eyes. I have been a student of consciousness for about 20 years now and through this journey I've learned some incredible things that I want to share with the world. I was introduced to this concept of consciousness as cause or that somehow our consciousness creates our reality at a very early age. I went away to school and I remember a friend of mine at the time wrote me a letter with a technique he had found in a book to basically get whatever you wanted. The technique involved listing the things that you wanted, saying a couple of phrases, basically thanking God for having given the order for your desires to be fulfilled and then letting it go. The only caveat was that you had to trust it 100%. If you didn't trust it 100%, it wouldn't work. So, you know, trying to get past my exams, I used all the techniques that I could. So I started doing this. And although it seemed to work sometimes, it wasn't very consistent. Basically, the explanation that I gave myself was that the times, the times that it didn't work, I might be doing something wrong. I, I must not be trusting this 100% or I'm not doing it right. And that's, that's where it, that, that was left. Fast forward to 2004, I turn on the TV and I see Wayne Dyer talking about his book, The Power of Intention. And again, it blew me away, this idea that somehow our consciousness could affect the reality that we live. I went and I devoured all these books. That introduced me to Esther and Jerry Hicks. And being a very practical guy, I immediately jumped at all the techniques and all the methods and all the processes that they offered. And again, although they seem to work sometimes, they didn't work consistently. And the same answer again that I gave myself was whenever it didn't work, it's probably me doing something wrong. I've always felt that there was a missing piece in this idea that consciousness affects our reality. So again, life came to a rescue as it always does. And I find uh, the field project with its founder, Philip Gollabuck and a body of work that basically answered these questions. Here was a reliable model that explained how reality works that addressed this missing piece. This piece of how, our creation, how we're creating the reality that we live in. And since then, I've made it my life's purpose to try and share this information with as many people as I can, and that is my intention with this video. So the first thing that the Field Project does is explain how na the nature of reality is based on the new physics of quantum physics, showing that there's different, le different levels. The first is what we call the particle self, then is the wave, the wave self, and then the uh, field self. The particle self is this self that we identify with, the one that we see in the mirror every day, the one that we call our body, I am a man, I am hungry, I am a dad, the one that is in here. Then there's the wave self, which is this self that we feel whenever we are either in a meditative state or we sit in stillness and we feel something that is more than just our bodies. It feels as though our bodies is inside it. That is the wave self. And then the field self is this all-encompassing energy that holds everything in creation. So going back to my question of why didn't the techniques that I was using work consistently or not, the field project seemed to answer these questions in several ways. First, I was trying to create with the wrong self. Particle self is entirely limited in terms of resources and vision and capabilities. Second, I was trying to create through an act of will, through doing something in the world to affect a change in my reality. And third, I was trying to create through desire. And desire alone does not create. We've all had these moments in our lives where we wanted something to happen with all our hearts and it doesn't happen. Or on the other hand, we wanted something not to happen with all our hearts and it happens anyway. So desire alone does not create. But if we go back to the question and we realize and recognize that there is a connection between consciousness and the reality that we live in, and if we say that desire is not what creates, then what is it then? The field project responds saying that it is our intentions what create. And they don't use the intentions the same way that Wayne Dyer does. Intentions is a technical term uh, used in the field project model to talk about a structure of consciousness that comprises 
what we take to be real and that with, with, with which we identify with. What we take to be real and what we identify with. The problem with intentions is that sometimes our intentions can be unwitting. Sometimes we might not have questioned intentions that we have that we inherited from either our parents or the culture that we live in. Or our intentions <clears throat> might be in contradiction. What we take to be real and that which with which we identify with might not, might not be in line. So the field model comes with this eight-week self-study model or course that explains this beautiful paradox of how we are creating our reality as long as we're not trying to create it. And it does this by taking the will out of the equation. Second, taking manifestation out of the equation as a measure of the success and making alignment the only aim of practice. Students that have come through the field project all report a sense of relief, happiness, and joy. And I want to share this with the world and invite you to try it for yourself and live in this beautiful, creative medium that we call our life. Thank you again for the opportunity. The name of our company again is Field Project. We can be found at fieldproject.net, fieldproject.net. My name again is Mauricio Acevedo, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.